Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the broadcast. I Katasama, he Sango, and oh no, not Sango, Sang, and yeah, this is this episode of the broadcast. <laughs> oh my, my mic is all the way over here. Hold on. Whoa! Now it's much clearer. Hey guys, what are we doing today, Katar? Yes. What are we doing today? I I don't know. Well, first, first okay. Off. What is that gear? No. That, okay, I'm just asking. What the? F- what are you wearing? It's Saint Patrick's Day. I don't think it is. I wouldn't know, but I'm pretty I, sure I it is, Katab. If you're not smart enough to know what day it is today, then I don't know. Yeah, but I don't see how this very Saint Patrick. I'm Patrick very see. green. See, I'm matching. Well, there's no other reason why I'm hiding my face right now. Hmm. I like how we're wearing green and red, the colors of Christmas. You know, it's the middle of the freaking year. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's already people um, preparing. Why? You I don't know how so. it's like people set up the holidays. They decorate. I remember we used to do it we used to start decorating i think even in october or september even when back at home hmm. of course you don't remember because you probably never helped with the decorating because i think it's stupid i think it's completely useless waste of time and you just you put up the decorations and then you take them down later like what's the point uh you don't take them down. That's that's what we did. The, the Christmas spirit is is not. No, I don't really get it. I remember <laughs> we just left the little floofy things that you can wrap around the Christmas trees, but we wrapped it around the staircase, and we kept it there for probably like almost two years or something. <laughs> yeah, because we're too lazy to take it down. See, it's it's just such a hassle. Why we put it up? Might as well just leave it there. Yeah, and also the Merry Christmas. Uh, Sign on the window. That's a classic. Mm, well, that it's was gone there now. For, yeah, it's gone now, of course. But it's been there for years. Yep. <laughs> years, bro. Uh, there's no. Spe- okay. So what I'm, why I'm wearing this is because my nose uh, broke. I was showering and then I accidentally hit my nose, and then my acne grew and it was bleeding. So. I'm just covering my nose right now. Yeah, we want to keep this video monetized, am I right? With no blood and yucky stuff. Okay, red shirt. Say, you're the one who looks like a freaking terrorist right now. Don't don't even... Speaking (laughs) speaking of protests, uh, the protests have started up again. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. Did you see the... You see, like the hashtag ban food panda. No, I didn't. Uh, Why? Much What's going on? A, you know, there uh, during a protest, a guy allegedly set a a portrait of the king on fire, right? And then food oh. panda came out and then uh, con- didn't like his behavior, said we're gonna fire him, but it was an act of terrorism. Terrorism. Yeah. And, violence and that and so, so food panda fired their employee for doing that right or going to the protest and then so people are boycotting them now yeah but like was he he was the one doing it right or i haven't found anything like conclusive evidence online not yet okay i think uh, i'd get it if he did it like by his own I hand would, if he if he actually set something on fire then yeah i i would try yeah to. bad he's not a peaceful protester he should probably like disown that employee there right yeah but if he didn't and then they're just doing it because he's in a protest and that has a bit of a problem which most people are seeing that as is and that's why it's being boycotted. Mm. but yeah. i really don't think and they should uh, i mean i mean i guess they can but like i think it's kind of unreasonable because i think 
companies are just trying to, you know, keep their reputation. And if you do something illegal, I feel that any company would do the same thing. Not just Food Panda, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be illegal. It could just be something that is in not in their interests as well. You can see like other cases, not in Thailand, did what people getting fired for stupid reasons. Hmm. Yeah, but I feel like this is a an illegal act, right? So, I no, know. <laughs> it would right now. It's right now. The the thing is, frick food panda. You shouldn't have done that. Hmm. But yeah, I would say look more into the story. I don't know that much myself. If but, he's if he's guilty, then yeah, of course. Then food panda did nothing hmm. wrong. I'm just saying that if. Any employee did something illegal because you know burning that burning picture of the king is obviously illegal in Thailand. So I get why the company would fire him, and I feel like every other company would probably do the same to their employee. And by the way, your headphones are too close to the mic. I can hear what I'm saying for your headphones. They're not. I can not. hear. I can hear. So. They're just loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, look. My, okay, here's my hands, right? This is where the headphones are. My hands. These are what? Oh, yeah. Um. Well, now I can't. What? Whatever. Ah. Just, just, just whatever. Just, just whatever. Whatever. Anyways, that's what I think. I think if any employee does something illegal, then any company should have the right to fire them. But people are saying he didn't do anything illegal. Well, then if he didn't, then yeah, that's kind of unless I don't know. I don't know. It's a really touchy subject. It is. Is it going out to protest illegal in it of itself? No, it's not. If it's if it's during curfew, probably. But mm. I don't see like what people doing peaceful protests just going out and uh, speaking their opinion. We have our own version of freedom of speech here. Hmm. Okay, very, very like different. if he didn't do anything wrong, then yeah, that's fucked. But obviously, we don't have enough information, so I can't really say anything about the matter. If he did something illegal, then yeah, I, I get what why the company would fire him. Yeah, we'll forward. get we'll get an update on that. I don't mm. want to be like news and then be fake news. Yeah. yeah, I have a beard. <laughs> It's so distracting, say. So. <laughs> can't, can't you just wear like a normal face mask and not just. I don't want to wear a normal face mask. This is cool. I can see what pro just want to wear this. It's like in style. A face towel. <laughs> no, it's... you know what I mean? It's, it's like, you know, those like biker things that people wear? It's like, it's pretty much just a uh, pantyhose, but for the neck. Hmm. No, I don't. I don't think so. Isn't it just like a bandana or something? No, it's like a silky fabric. It's wrap. It's like a neck. This thing you wrap around your neck that wraps around your neck, and then just. Oh, whatever. It that isn't it. That is not. You were the one who called me a protester, so I'm not gonna say. <laughs> well, have you gone to the protest? No, know. so you're not a protester. It, not the new ones. Could I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not like illogical. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna go to a protest because it's just not safe right now. But it's not like I don't feel as they do as well. But it's just not safe at the moment. I mean, it's not safe either way. Even if there was no COVID, going to one of those protests is it's still not safe because you know, obviously, I saw that. One guy got, I think he got shot with a rubber bullet in the eye. Like, right well, in the eyeball. my set is complete, apparently. <laughs> Saying, I don't think those glasses are gonna stop a rubber, a rubber bullet. I forgot to mention, because, like, how expensive the glasses are. The glass is also bulletproof. No. <laughs> so, no, no, no. <laughs> If the glass is bulletproof, the bullet is still gonna hit the glass and still hit your eye because I wow. doubt the glue that attaches the frame to the 
glass is strong enough to resist that bullet. Yeah, it's not. Anyways, we're getting off topic. Anyways, just going to a protest is just dangerous in general. I feel like, I don't know, anything could happen. It's a lot of people. Even if there's no COVID, there's, I don't know, you can fall down Wait. and get tr trampled on. <laughs> it is very... What? I'm gone! I haven't, I, I wouldn't say I've gone to one, I got stuck in one. Does that count? No, you haven't, you didn't, um, you didn't, like, decide to go, you just accidentally wound up in one. No, I was getting out of work and then I was trying to take the train, the train was like... Yeah, but you, like, you didn't protest. intend to go to the protest. No, that's also because I just don't know where everything is. Like how it's set up. Like where do people organize? I'm so out of the loop. Sick, we've been out of the loop for a long time. <laughs> a long no, time. No, I thought we look. We are up to date with the trends and. But no, we know what's work. going on, but we don't know what's going on. <laughs> we know what's going on. No, we know as it's much like, as they do. We yeah. know there's a protest. We don't know where. We don't know. I don't even know what kind of like why actually no i kind of do but also kind of don't know why they're protesting and uh yeah there's like a lot we still don't know oh, it's, it's obvious it's freaking and, all, and i don't really know the political side like i don't know what is the history behind this my like, no, wires right now people are upset like this is just spiraled out of control and okay, so they're... this is completely unrelated to the ones before, or is is it? I mean, it's a, it's it's definitely combined frustration. Hmm. Well, anyways, I don't think we know enough information about these protests. No, to be no, they're protesting. The, they're protesting the prime minister. That's it. Yeah, but there are many other factors, you know. Our minister, government, companies, um, that's basically the gist. It's not that deep, though. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. Just that like our city, it's just everything's gone worse, and then people are blaming the government, and rightfully so, because how they treated uh, the economy, the economy has gone low, tourism has, like, halted the the sandbox thing, Phuket, was a total sham because one of the tourists got COVID. Like, Phuket mm -hmm. was supposed to be just bubble for tourists to lure <laughs> in and big business. Yeah. It's just gone downhill. And then whatever's working, whatever's trying to work, isn't working. The vaccine has been halted as well. Um, which is I, why I think I haven't gotten an update on my second dose yet. Hmm. I think it's been halted, I think, because of the new Delta, maybe. Delta variant, or what, the Indian version, I don't really know what it's called. I, I think that's why it's maybe be, been halted, because it's like, what's the point, I guess. It's probably just COVID Pro. Hmm. Yeah, that's what people are saying about right now. I'm not too out of the loop though. I read the articles. Well, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty out of the loop. All I know is that all I like to nitpick is that he bought a submarine and then like also they're buying a jumbo jet or something for the military. Oh, wow. That's so long ago. <laughs> no, the, I think the jumbo jet is quite recent. Nah, nah, probably that, but then the submarine. Well, yeah, but it's like, bruh, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we want to go explore, Bruh, like, say this, the, the, how much was that submarine? What, 1.34 1.4 billion baht? Not that much. How much is that in dollars? It's like 300 million? No, 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 no. That's, no, no. That would be like 9. It would be like 30. 30. No, wait. What did you say? 1. Point what? Yeah. Uh, like 1.4, 1.3 around there. So I think like 50. 
Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's there, there. See, this is where all, all the money is going. It's going into submarines and the military's jumbo jets so that they can fight the coronavirus with torpedoes and missiles. Yeah, shoot them! Yeah. Kill all the <laughs> <laughs> Back to the old days with you. Oh my god. Yeah, so I get why people are mad, you know, because uh, should can we really criticize this though? I feel is it? I think you should be able to criticize. No, I mean, because... like, is it? Like, are we gonna get in trouble? <laughs> no, no, freedom of speech. Just nothing against the monarchy is the one rule of that. Mm. My answer is but... free game. Is he though? I feel like I've seen people, I don't know, speak out against the government and then they got like, I don't know, silenced. That's like leaders of the protest. Uh, I think uh, like Penguin got arrested and that was a big deal. And yeah, just like leaders, but like you can, you've seen it online how people are just complaining. Yeah, I guess it's too much to handle for them. They can't like go to every single post and be like, "Oh my god, this guy." I mean, I mean, it should be allowed. I think they were arrested on different charges, not like speaking out against the prime minister. Mm. Not like actual charges, like just like the I don't what other charges they can get to get them arrested. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, for me, I'm going to sp speak my mind on that. Just I'm going to be as close to the law as I can get. And yeah, mm -hmm. Prime Minister is not good. We need an election soon. That's it. That's it. Just need another coup, don't we? <laughs> what? We just need another coup, don't we? No, we don't need another coup. We need an actual <laughs> like. Proper government. <laughs> yeah, that, that's 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 the only way it works. There's no election. It's just it's the queue. Just wait for the queue. In under four years, or maybe even now. But yeah, I feel like I also yeah. Okay, I'm gonna criticize the government. Like they could instead of putting money so much money into like the military and whatever stuff they do because that's what they're doing basically. You know, they could like put I don't know money into schools, hospitals, roads transport systems you know maybe making the country more advanced so that in that way it makes the country more desirable to visit just because i think like one of the reasons why japan is kind of so i don't know popular is just because their country is just so interesting because their their government puts money into the country it puts money into the transport system it puts money into i don't know it basically it puts money into making the country better not jumbo jets and submarines for the military Japan if you know what i mean military, though? they do but i don't think that's an emphasis for them for thailand that is a real emphasis you know uh -huh. because our prime minister is a general basically he was right pretty sure anyways he's from the military oh, doctor, whatever this country was, is was, military is, is military controlled okay we still have conscription and stuff like that it's like I, it's very um i don't know almost focused on military i guess so yeah i feel like Maybe they can put money into like some other things. Maybe put it into, I don't know, mental health institutions to build some because there's like so little of them. Like, like, uh, we had a call with our sister yesterday who, who wanted to get some mental health, but it's kind of like, it's kind of expensive just because it's so like exclusive here, I feel, you know? Hello? I thought der therapy in general is expensive. Like therapy is what you get when you. I don't like, know, man. Like, like psychologists make money. They're like have college degree. I guess that's how. Yeah, but I feel that it, if it's more accessible, it, uh, the price will go down. And I feel like it shouldn't be that expensive. Maybe that's, maybe that's just the problem of mental uh, therapy itself. But I don't, I don't know. 
But anyways, they could put stuff into, I don't know, building building schools, building hospitals, you know. Or maybe, because these schools around here, you know, they could be a lot better. And, and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they could be, yeah, just basically make the country better. And if they do that, the country will automatically be more desirable to visit because people will be uh, more free to do things. If they have more opportunities here, then they, like, they'll be f free to explore things and then people will do things on their own that will make this country desirable to visit because because they put it, like if you okay if you put care into building the country up you know like if you care about the people then the people will go off and do their own things and make this country interesting because people go off and do interesting things if they have you know the resources or if they have the knowledge or like you know if they have the opportunity to do it so i would say it would be nice to when if the government it did invest in like public uh schools and the roads and stuff like that and making the country better but i don't think it's a problem that we have little people visiting i think it's just because covid has just gone so rapid i mean before covid thailand was just fine uh tourism wise they're like top countries we think Mm. But everything else, yeah. Yeah, uh, but I'm just saying okay. it would be more desirable to visit. Just saying. And plus, might as well care about the people of the country because they're the ones uh, <laughs> that make the country what it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just like around our area, it's just it's like a horror neighborhood. Actually, no, not our area, but mainly like our relatives' area is definitely in the underdeveloped side. Maybe yeah. they're just like, uh, also, yeah, the environment they live in is just not very motivating and kind of gets them stuck in that place. It can also be a good place to be because it can give them more motivation because it's like, I'm so poor, I want to get out of this, like, bad. But it's also, mm. I'm so poor, I can't do anything. Exactly. It's kind of like it limits their vision of like what what they aspire to be or like what they can do. Because it's yeah, always yeah. the same thing around here. The people around here, it's kind of like you go to that the school and then you either go to this school or this school and you become this or this. It's it's always that. It's like I think it's always either some kind of technician or like a soldier or something like that usually that's like the the two main uh things people become around here and to be fair i'm playing devil's advocate <laughs> because i like doing that <laughs> being a technician is a very good idea as well it has so many opportunities and you can make mm. a lot of money i guess like rich off of doing that as well as being a soldier you get like very various benefits you can go to college uh you can get training and especially if you volunteer you get uh you get a higher rank and you're more likely to be promoted as well hmm. it yeah can but can influence the government that way as well hmm. yeah you but know, i feel like is it like what these people really want to do? Because it's kind of like there's... To them, I think it's kind of like there's no other option. It's either this or this. Choose. You know? Without them like knowing that there are other things out there that they can do. And that's why I'm kind of like... You know? Make, maybe if they upgrade the stuff around here and then like open opportunities for people to, to look into, then people will do other things. Because not everyone wants to become a te technician and soldier, but it's kind of, they do because like kind of they don't have any other I don't, know, I don't they don't know anything else you know because everyone out around here does that that's you know that's all they know so yeah that there is. are different cases right I'm sure you've met people that well of course there okay of, of course there's some but like I'm just saying those are the two main. Well, it's kind of just like, yeah, go to college and we'll 
find something that's common and popular and then do that. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Stupid government. Fix it. Fix, fix, get your shit together. Just stop buying submarine. Sell the submarine. I don't know. Build a submarine. Um, give me stimulus. <laughs> 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 So about the COVID, like, do you know anything about the new variants? And like, is there like a vaccine against that yet, or, or is it like still in development? All I know is, regardless of whether or not I get vaccinated, I can still get it. So that's not a very good thing for me to think about. Hmm. Well, at least you're somewhat immune. So yeah, um, and honest, uh, and the people around here are still playing. I know I go on about this uh, almost every episode, but there's just they're still playing football around here. Yeah, I saw I saw a story. I'm like, what? What? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> I mean, even even here, actually, my boss just well. posted a photo. About how you saw like a football field with the lights on, like mm. near my area, like in Sukhumvit. Wait, like a football oh. field in Sukhumvit, like a proper one, and people are just playing in it, just like eleven, eleven. Wait, so like, uh, okay. Do you know what the field is called? Uh, no, but I know okay. what the soil it is. Hmm. So it's in the Anut area, right? No, Sukhumvit like spans, I think, like all the way to Siam. Like it's a giant, uh-huh. it's the main Bangkok road, pretty much. I believe. I don't know. Hmm. Smart on that. Yeah, but maybe they're all vaccinated. Yeah, I think that's cool. They could be all so, vaccinated. Yeah, it's not just your place; it's also in Bangkok. But I think the ones in Bangkok would be vaccinated. I um, know for a fact that these people are not vaccinated. But, uh, I mean, just for the fact that we're under something where it doesn't allow, where it doesn't allow five people to congregate. It's eleven, eleven aside. Hmm. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe they're, tr- I don't know, professional. I mean, if you could just take a photo, it's like you know, it's. It's not a good field. It's like just with the green fence ah. and lights on top. Okay. okay. I don't know, man. Original. No, no, no. Is it? They're basically gonna. It's just we saw a bunch of people playing. Yeah, but More. I feel like I feel like those people would be vaccinated, though, so. Because it's Bangkok. Oh, God, you can assume that they did. I, I I can assume because <laughs> I can definitely assume because I watched this YouTuber. You already know who I'm talking about. Tina probably showed you already. The Korean. Yeah, he he you plays in. Fans. Yeah, I know. Anyways, he plays in Bangkok a lot. You know, football and stuff. So. And, and he's probably he actually he's probably vaccinated, and all these all of those people are probably vaccinated because it's it's Bangkok. I feel like you wouldn't be playing football if you weren't vaccinated in Bangkok, or because it's a team and they bribe the officers. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Anyways, I definitely know these people are not vaccinated, and yeah, that's basically it. They they still playing. And I'm just here, wasting away in my room. Yeah, it does look like fun. Wanting no, I, to I, play football. I honestly wouldn't judge you if you want. Uh, I know everyone. Daddy said, "Oh, go ahead, go." But like, I I don't want to. I don't want to risk. You know. <laughs> It's a lot of risk. How many cases we have today? Um, Eleven thousand. I mean, what about your area? Our area? I don't know. I'm not sure, but I heard. Uh, I heard it was like three hundred a few days ago. Finally. Oh wait. 
No, library area. Exactly. <laughs> what if it doesn't matter? I said on note two, so look, action on note what? way broad. Honor is broad! <laughs> Also, is bad me. Bad me is also broad as okay, well. Okay, fine. Yeah, bad me. What else? Freak you guys. <laughs> ooh, um, ooh. Yeah. What? What are we gonna talk about? COVID. So yeah, I think a few days ago, maybe a few hundred. But I, I saw that I saw that we passed India in terms of daily cases, and that's insane. That is. Because they're hiding the bodies. <laughs> that. <laughs> that is honestly insane. Like, our COVID situation is bad. It's, like, it's actually bad. Like, really bad compared to other countries right now. Yeah. <sighs> not the worst, but not the best. I, I. Government, do something. Turn it around. If we don't know what they're doing, would be the same for them as well. I don't know. Maybe they should now actually enforce some things. Yeah, people are definitely not happy about that. Well, enforcing his uh, curfews are your pain. Hmm. Well, yeah, but like the country's already this bad, people kind of have to comply. You're trying to get as many vaccines as we can, but it's just, I don't know what's stopping. Hmm. Apparently, we've gotten a letter from Astra saying it can only supply this amount a month. Like 1.4 million. Which is still a lot, but you know, there's a lot more people than that. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> It's just weird how it's all two years in a pandemic. Hmm. Kind of feel like feels like it's been forever. It's like the last <laughs> pandemic I've ever heard about was like the Spanish flu. Yeah, I think that and was apparently that was a big deal, and then I think like a bunch of people died, but just like not compared to the scale of this. Hmm. Was it like? Actually, no, never mind. Yeah, I don't really remember too much. I just know it was like a hundred years ago. I don't think it was that long ago, right? It was. I don't think... Was it? Yeah, I remember reading in like our Life with Grandpa books. About a hundred years ago, didn't he get it? Yeah, when he was a baby. But he wasn't a hundred. That's not a hundred years ago, was it? Well, let's 19, say it was. 1917 or something. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh. And let's COVID. not. Let's not talk about COVID at all. It just makes us mad. I know <sighs> it's the only thing we can talk about. Yeah, because like well, we can't go out anywhere or do anything. Okay, I guess I don't know. Uh, what have you been up to? Actually, yeah, you, I could say that. I can ask that. Or so, saying, what have you been up to? I don't know, what have you been up to? I was like, come on, you, you were posting on your story. Oh! Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, say, just <laughs> say it. Ah, my, I've, I've posted a preview of my new song. And I kind of got in the idea from the 1975 do you hear about them no the one where KSI was trying not to get album number one oh they beat him so yeah uh basically just copied the idea a bunch of sims a bunch of old school 80s i like the synth wave and pop indie rock kind of thing and yeah hopefully people will like it it's just a preview and i'll finish and we can probably take Another month and probably slack at that as well. But yeah. Hmm. So cool. like. Okay. <laughs> what? Nothing. I just oh, don't know I... much about music. Later, I'm going to sing in it, which I just found that I can't sing. Ta da. 
thanks no. to my singing sister who approved of my talent. She you approves didn't... of anything, said. No, she doesn't. She doesn't approve of our hair at all. Kada. Listen, whatever, whatever, whatever. She has her opinion. I have mine. All right. So what happened with you? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, huh? I, it's just the usual, honestly. Oh, come on. Something must have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing out of the ordinary. I just do but the thing I usually do, you know, work on YouTube videos. And yeah, watch anime. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened nothing happened it's a private matter so yeah and it's a bit too fresh and I don't the, I just, the wound is a bit too sensitive <laughs> Bobo. anyways I haven't really been doing anything just working on YouTube videos I guess playing Genshin Impact yeah. <laughs> oh my god, see this just brings brings us back to COVID. Well Can't don't <laughs> go back to COVID because I'm thinking of something else. I can't I can't. Oh what uh, what um what shows have you been watching? That's so what? boring. <laughs> One piece That's oh. it. I didn't watch the last episode though. Hmm. Oh. Um. My turn. Actually, guitar. You never said your anime crush the other day. What do you mean anime crush? Character. Wasn't it like voice actor or something? No. Character. Well, then who's the voice actor for that character? Better not be like a mature lady one. Uh, I don't like the. If no, if it's the voice actor for a certain character, I don't really. If <laughs> listen, okay. If, for voice actors, I just go for you know not their character they played, but for them as a voice actor. <laughs> so, yeah, and if I say names, I don't think you're gonna know. At well, all. you just say it. I don't. I'm asking you. Okay, well. I, I guess there's... Oh, yeah, just, just to clarify, I'm saying anime <sighs> crush because he doesn't have any, like, real life crushes. <laughs> which is a Thank problem. You, Zeg. Well, the first voice actor, uh, I think her name is Takahashi Ri. Lie or something like that. <laughs> no. And um, she voices Megumin and Ken Konosuba and uh, Amelia from ReZero. And yeah, and a lot of other characters like Takagi and other characters. Yep, yep. Oh. See, I you don't. Like, I like uh, Jigen's voice. There you go. Jigen, who? Monspeed. In Seven Deadly Sins. I don't remember. And then who else? Who else does he play? Um, I don't remember the character at all. I like I like Okiyasu's voice actor as well. Oh, him. I don't know his name, but he's like beyond a delinquent guy. I guess. Anyone else? Um... No, that's it. That's all I know. And I didn't even say the names of them because I don't care. <laughs> exactly. It's like how it's funny though when like Shonen characters are voiced by old ladies. That's quite common. No, I never heard of that like outside of uh, like anime. I've heard like a, a lady voice Bart, but then that's it. Like Bart from the Simpsons. I think it's it. very common. 
for uh, ladies to um, voice for kind of younger boy characters. Younger boy characters? <laughs> We can't say. Naruto is 30. Something. Well, anyways, you know, like very high pitched kind of. Anyways, Sorry. yeah, it's just it's very common for girls to voice male characters. Like, for example, actually, for a weird example, uh, Dr. Stone, you know, Senku, he's voiced by a girl. Yes? Yeah. Why? I don't know. And his. <laughs> his. I, I like, her voice is so much like a guy. How? Like, Senku's voice is so. Thank you, it's a guy. Exactly, but he's voiced by a girl. Probably transitioned or something. That's, no, that's called talent right there. And yeah, Japanese voice actors are just freaking talented, man. Can voice the girls, they voice guys, and they can change to lolly voice, and then they can change to MILF voice. It's like... So many goddamn voices. You, we can't do squeaky voice, can we? I don't know. Oh my god. How do you even remember that? I forgot the rest of the lines, but that's pretty much it. Um Great. I do. Uh what else was there? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, that's all you said. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I know the I know the tone, but I don't remember what I said. I don't remember that at all. How do you even remember your lines? I don't even remember. That was so long ago. I know. I only know that part, and the rest is I forget. Yeah. No, I cannot mm. do this wiki. And that was my girl voice. I don't know. I I feel like our voices are ugly, yucky voices. Hey, shut up! What do you mean ugly? I feel like our voices have this kind of muddy mid-tone to them that's very disturbing. <laughs> no! That's it's so mean of you! It, it's, no, there's like this sure mucky, like, like mucky, groggy, I don't know what to, how do I describe it, but it makes our voice kind of muffled when we talk. Mexico? It's like it has this, this uh, to it, you know, when we talk. No, Katar, you're just... It does, it does. It has, it, I don't know. I, I don't, <laughs> I've never thought of, like, voices that are ugly. Yeah, our voice is ugly, that's it. <laughs> nah, you're mean, Katar. I said our voice is ugly. It it is it is. You're mean to it's, yourself. We don't have nice oh. voices. I we don't have nice voices. We I only, have nice voices. I when I sing, it's so soothing. I mean, like when you're normally talking. No, I don't believe it. I I don't think we have nice voices. What, what the frick is nice voice? Nice voice is nice voice. You know a nice voice when you hear one. That's probably because they could sing or something, like properly. No, Sag, if someone, if you talk to someone and you hear they have a, a like a nice deep dark voice, you you know that's a nice voice. You instantly know when you talk to someone if they have a nice uh, nice voice or not. But I also do believe that we weren't supposed to be talking like English in the first place, anyways. I think if I spoke, uh, no, I don't think that has anything to do with yes, it. Uh, yes, it does because what, how you're talking in Thai versus how you talk in English is a lot different. That's you know the same it. for every single language. Yeah, it's going to be different. Maybe you think it's. I'm just saying. Ugly. Well, yeah, our freaking English but voice is ugly, and so is our good. Thai voice. Ugly, ugly voice. It doesn't sound nice. Okay. 
tired Fine. listening it's to you. It's not ugly. It's just still not a nice voice, you know? It's not like it's something... Average. It's like it's not like so, no something people want. There's no ugly voices. It's yeah, like, I'm pretty I, sure I, I there listen, is. I listen to you and it's like, oh, so disgusting. Give me away. Exactly. I find when I see an ugly person. Could I... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, says the one who's covering his face. Yeah, I had my face and my voice. No, but Katara, I'm not like listening to you and thinking, oh. like, I'm not thinking about how your voice is bad. Well, I am. Well, stop. I'm just bad. saying, not nice voice. Ugly voice, yucky yucky. Why what, could what's it? your dream voice? Why, who, would you want, who would you want as your own voice? What as nicer voice? Who? I don't know. <laughs> what are you thinking of? I don't know. I have a nice enough voice for people to be like, oh, you have a nice voice. And I'll be like, thank you. Well, I people agree. aren't going to you and saying, oh, you have a terrible voice. Suck it. Shut up. Never speak again. <laughs> You'd be surprised. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, actually, wait. Wait, wait, surprise, hold on. If people said, no, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> or would I be surprised? I don't know the terms now. <laughs> wait, 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 if they said you had an ugly voice. Yeah, I would be surprised. Right? Yeah. yeah. If you said you had an ugly voice, I would be surprised. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Recorrected myself. Yeah. Because I said I had an ugly voice. If but I had. But no one ugly... told you you had. I told myself. But I, I believe, like, no one in your whole entire life ever said you're ugly, other than me or me. No, no, not my looks. I'm, I'm talking about my voice here. Well, ugly voice. Hello. No one. Name one person other than yourself. Oh yeah, I don't like listening to my own voice. No one does. You exactly, ugly voice. Going... See, everyone no. has an ugly voice to themselves. There. Oh, oh, oh. So you want someone else's voice, Kata? Uh, no, I don't know. I just said. Sure... I I didn't say that. I said I wanted a nicer voice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you got a nicer voice, like your dream voice, <laughs> when you listen to it on playback. It's gonna be something you don't like. No one likes looking at themselves. No one likes listening to themselves. I need a I need a nice enough voice where I can listen back to it and then freaking, freaking like nut or Wait, something. You wanna get, you wanna get an <laughs> orgasm every time you you talk and then listen to yourself? You yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, if I had, if I had a voice that nice, day, <laughs> day, I'd no. be set. You're fine. Here we go. <laughs> I need to get money. That's it. You'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah. Boo boo. Well, I mean, you can practice. Have you tried, like, I don't know, taking vocal lessons? I don't know. I just, I just practice uh, enunciating properly. <laughs> wow. No, just do like. Um, practice like talking, like, and then doing yeah. going higher. With well, your voice. Like, I uh, I do that when I uh, before I start a video, I warm up. Yeah, good. <laughs> I just Great. go like, and then I <laughs> okay, what kind of exercise? And then I blow on my lips like, like that, and then I do the oh. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. Huh? What does what does that do? The it kind of like it like frees your lips, you know, makes them more loose. Okay. Yeah. Do you like blow up your cheeks too? No, I don't do that. You know, like like people put that to relax their muscles. Hmm. Oh, so good. But yeah, but I feel like I have been starting to talk a lot more clearly. I think. That's I don't just know. your pronunciation. It's not like your voice is. Bad. Well, yeah, but I've, yeah, okay, fine. Well, if I see, I'm improving, and next I'll improve my voice. Yeah, I dare. Good. You can always improve, but just don't say it's bad. That's it. But how do I make it deeper? <laughs> Smoke. 
I'm, <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's how pe- that's how people's voices got deeper. I'm not gonna smoke. I'm not gonna risk my health. I don't know, vape, I guess. I don't no. No. Nope. Nope. That's nope. how people like nope. think of like rappers, that's how they got their voice of freaking smoking weed all day. Just <laughs> like getting stuck in their lungs and that's why I hope got deeper, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna smoke. I don't think I ever will. I don't Yeah. I think you will. I don't think so. I think you'll try one in your life because you probably should try one in your life and then see if you like it or not. I don't know. I feel like I already don't like secondhand smoke as it is. Why would I like firsthand? Like, think of alcohol. You didn't like alcohol before. I didn't like alcohol before. I'm starting to like it now. It's just like you have to slowly get into it. And uh, I'm not saying go smoke, but it's also not a bad idea to try one out for yourself. Hmm. You know, for me, no, I'm not going to smoke. Not yet. I want to pass like two decades being free of smoking or something. Mm. Nah, I just don't want to. I feel like... I don't know. I've taken in so much secondhand smoke. I feel like... Uh, why would anyone smoke? It's so... Yucky. I would not want to... Experience you, it you firsthand. You understand... Why people do it, though. Like, here... I totally understand why they do it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess it's a stress reliever, but you know, there are other things that I could use like to relieve, I don't know, fab. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, people cannot masturbate at the office, okay? <laughs> yeah, they can just go into the bathroom. And... No, that's disgusting. <laughs> what? Pretty sure someone has already. No, I'm pretty sure you've never masturbated in the bathroom. Nah. Not in public, Weirdo. at least. Not public? No way. Exactly. So not even in your put... own bathroom? Well, of course I've done it in my bathroom before. No, I've never heard you. Because... No, I'm not I just prefer I not it, to. I, I just like... prefer not to, Sam. I prefer to lay on my bed and do it, okay? Moving on. Good night. Cheese. Ta-da. What? what? <laughs> We're moving on. Oh, mm. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, there's the other ways to uh, really stress. Even playing football, I feel like that is very nice. Makes me happy. Uh, just think of like getting on a break. You cannot go and play football. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, I'll drink a beer. Drink something. No okay. drinking. Yeah, why not? At work. Pretty Bad. sure someone's. Pretty sure someone's already People done it. Have, but it's not a good idea. Uh, why not? Because you're not focused anymore. You're clumsy. But what if it makes you more fo- focused? It definitely doesn't. <laughs> I never thought of, oh, maybe I should take a beer so I can focus on my work. Yeah. No, let me take a beer so I can get off my work, frick my work, and do something else. Oh, well, then you're fucked. (laughs) Or just smoke. Well, for me, I just don't do anything and then just let the stress take over my body and just (laughs) die. Did they ever offer you a smoke? Of course they have. I've been offered cigarettes all my work life, and I've always denied. Hmm. Maybe that's why I don't have any. No, I just this is your personal preference. Plus, I wouldn't. Honestly, I've had enough secondhand smoke to know that I won't like firsthand smoke. <laughs> Uh, I've had a roommate who smoked a joint in the small room, okay? <laughs> I've had secondhand weed, so it's not very pleasant as well. Exactly. You think that's secondhand smoke? Okay. 
I don't know, maybe I smoked weed before and just didn't know it. <laughs> I don't know what smells like either. Mm. Man. I thought weed and smoking were the same thing because I thought because there the were leaves. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't think so. I just thought weed was just something you smoke. I mean, like at home, you saw like relatives do like roll-ups. No, I didn't uh, think that was weed. I just thought it was smoking paper and wood or something. Pretty sure we've tried doing that. <laughs> Maybe. I think we did. Get we just, I think we just did it with just plain paper. I don't think that's going to Yeah, do that's what much. we did. I didn't. And that's pretty toxic as well, though. To be fair, I mean, I feel like smoking anything is toxic. Now it just reminded me of when you had the brilliant idea of flame throwing the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> we all so wanted to I... do it. Okay, we all wanted to do it. You, you can't idea. deny it. <laughs> you, can't, idea, you can't. You pressured me. Listen, man, I'm pretty sure they're all kids in their lifetimes are gonna do this one thing. Which they is should, do but make I a flamethrower. Which is it's not okay for what we're talking about, basically this flamethrower, you get a, a spray, so like a perfume or a bug spray, and then you get a lighter and basically you spray the lighter when you, you flick the light the fire on and then it blows flames. So yeah, cool. exactly. So, so we yeah, we, 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 we went up into our mom's bathroom. Okay, so this is when we're in a townhouse. So there's like five stories, and we got our mom's perfume, and then we spray, we're in the bathroom spraying the the perfume into the lighter, making these flames. It was always so cool. And then our mom came. She was like, "What?" spraying perfume in the house because the perfume was like filling up the whole house was it mom's perfume that she would always get i think i think the, it was what is that called what is midnight that midnight poison Black dior midnight poison or something yeah it was midnight poison <laughs> He's and he was just spraying that. that in the bathroom and the smell is so strong it's like filling up the whole house and then our mom came up and was like what are you guys doing and then our excuse was oh we just wanted to put on the perfume i don't remember the excuse <laughs> that was our excuse we wanted to put on the perfume to smell nice <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah she's like, why, why you want to put on perfume <laughs> then, yeah, she took us out. I I'm guess. pretty sure she was pissed, not for the fact we were flame throwing, but for the fact <laughs> that how expensive that perfume was, and then we we're just spraying it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all kids do that, okay? You know the shampoo, soap, potions, the flame throwers, lighting alcohol on fire. All kids do that. We never lit alcohol on fire. Yeah, we did. Pretty sure we poured we one into a, a cup and then we just lit it on fire. Oh! Yes! Well, I definitely have, so... When? When we were like, in, you know, it's just in that same kind of period. Where we were like kind of freaking pyromaniacs. We never had alcohol near us. It's not like liquor, it's just like blue, you know... Normal alcohol. Oh yeah, okay then yeah. Yes, just saying. <laughs> you know alcohol is. Oh, when you say alcohol, I think alcohol drunk, not rubbing alcohol. <laughs> well, whatever. It's the same thing, anyways. Yeah, pretty sure every kid goes through that phase. You know, like light, light sticks on fire, light everything on fire, because it's cool. Put the cornetos on your finger. Oh wait, no, not cornetos. What are they called? The, the corn chips. I don't know what they're called. Basically, they, <laughs> no, <laughs> no one puts cornetos on their fingers. Just to clarify. <laughs> yep. What else? What else? I remember like watching a BuzzFeed video. I was like, oh my god, we did that too. Ah. <laughs> oh damn! Of course we did. We did. 
Hmm. Yeah. We did a lot of things. Oh. Oh, what time is it? That place uh, had a nice playground. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Nah, I'm. I'm pretty sure you just remember the swimming pool. <laughs> So, so basically, I think it was after the pool was closed. Okay, so we had a pool in our neighborhood. It's a public pool, and so it was closed. All the lights were off and everything. And then me, saying, and our friend had the brilliant idea of swimming naked in the pool. I believe, yeah. What skinny dipping? And to be fair. Swimming naked feels so good. It is. It does. It feels I would do it more. If so I had to pull, goddamn I would. good. I don't know why. What is like? It feels so free. So basically, we're a bunch of we're free like twelve year old kids jumping into this pool naked, dark. Okay, it's after the pool is closed already. Just. Swimming naked, and that's it, basically. No one found out, and no one has to. Actually, no, until now. Uh, I just remember another incident where I was talking and then the lights went out or something. Uh, I don't, I don't remember. remember. No, it's just like a coincidence. Was like, uh, it's gonna close right now, and the lights turn on. Like, oh. <laughs> It's a sign. And then I remember as well, like there was a a patch of frog eggs and then we took care of them or something. <laughs> we like peeled it off the swimming pool and then uh, raised it or something. Or like released it. Actually, what was their release? There was no... There was no yeah, I don't there. think... Yeah, so we, I think we took care of them and they died or something. Yeah, it's... Like a lot of things we took care of and died. No, I mean to be fair, we could have done better because the pool was just chlorine. Yeah, I People guess. Kind of dumb frogs who put their eggs in the swimming pool. Huh? I yes. mean, it's a frog. What? Frogs are smart. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Especially these, the freaking painted toad hey, trot. I saw a video of like a frog defending a bunch of eggs from wasps that could kill the frog. That's a pretty brave and not that smart. Say, listen, this, this, those are like the genius frogs, you know, the one of viral frogs. It's the what same thing. With, it's the same thing with humans. Okay, there's some superhuman out there that can do some superhuman thing that we can't do because we're normal people. It's, it's just kind of like that. The f normal frogs are pretty stupid. <laughs> what and, they did was like they would use their hind legs and they kick the wasps away. <laughs> Anyways, the frogs around here are pretty stupid. I mean, I'm talking hey, about the I toads. Hey, I like but... banded toads. Banded toads are the best. Aren't they painted toads? Whatever. There's Anyways. Many names. They walk around everywhere. They keep walking into my goddamn room. They can just walk underneath the door, crawl into my room. They can crawl around. I'm just like, I keep having to take them out because if they crawl in here, they're not going to find their way out. There's no water and there's no food, so they're just going to die. They're so cute. We can always find Yeah, they're them cute, the but it's like, they want, the it's well. just like, stop, stop watering on it. One, I found one dead in the kitchen. That's probably the cat. No, here, here's the thing. It crawled into you know the, the kitchen has a counter and it has those cupboards underneath. Uh -huh. It crawled into that, and then when I opened that, I was looking for food. But I opened that, and then there's a dead frog, with a dead toad in the electric pan. It was getting ready for us. <laughs> no. It crawled in there, and it, you see, they just crawl in somewhere randomly, and then they just die because they can't find their way out. It's, it's they're, no, I'm they're stupid. Sure if you're put in that situation with a giant cupboard, you get stuck too. Okay. Well, yeah, don't get into that situation. I'm not dumb enough to get into that situation in the first place. 
Oh, it's not like we've ever gone and lost at malls before or something. To be fair, they're pretty smart for being only a few weeks old. They're not a few weeks old, man. Pretty okay, big. Few years old, okay? Getting their own food, surviving. Yeah, but that's frog years. But how if we did that at three years old, we get electrocuted, okay? That's human years. Three years, frog years is a lot more. It's like adulthood. But they're a lot more frog. responsible than us humans, okay? <laughs> a lot more responsible. <laughs> We're shitting all over the floor. Putting on their territory, obviously. Doing their mark. It's my territory. Should just step on them. Yeah, but yeah I, I do step on them a lot, actually. It's accidentally because they're just freaking wandering around. Now, you need to be mindful. You know there's toads walking around everywhere. Well, yeah, I step on them, but they're fine because they just slip underneath. I've always watched where I'm stepping. Because I can't. Anyways, they are annoying. They keep crawling around. It's I annoying. Keep crawling into my room. Like, stay in the. And their sound. <laughs> no, uh, it's so goddamn uh, annoying. Uh, <laughs> it's, it, uh, keeps, it keeps me from focusing. Uh, and uh, shut up. Say, uh, shut up. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> Shut up, toads are annoying. Oh, speaking of toads, I heard uh, Konosuba is getting a new anime project. Oh, I thought you were going to say your mom's a toad or something. What? Say, it's, it's, she's my mom too. <laughs> so? So yeah, Konosuba is getting a new anime project and I am excited because... You know, Konosuba is the best anime of all time. No one can refute that fact. And yeah, I, I was just really hoping that they pull it off though because they say they announced a new anime project. So not necessarily season three or or a movie. It's not like it's just anime project. So I don't know what they're making, but hopefully they pull it off. I feel like uh, if they if they mess this up, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be mad. I can hardly time. contain my excitement. <laughs> Saying Konosuba is, is the best. It is not the best. Okay. It is. It's the best. It's you know why hiatus is? That's why. If it's not consistent, it is not good. It is consistently you good. You know why Attack on Titan is on top still, even though it does like two years of waiting time. It's because we know it's coming in two years. We don't know when Konosuba is coming. Listen, so like, say, comes, Konosuba it's has coming. still been active. And what? They only had two seasons and that's it. Yeah, two seasons. One season was in 2016. One was in 2018, I'm pretty sure. And then they had a movie in like 2020 or was it? I think it was 2020. Yeah. yeah but so they've they still been pretty active. They don't get the excuse of two years compared to like a time yeah they do say Kodosuba is that freaking good it's, it's the best anime out there i'm just saying That's an <laughs> where's the story guitar the melodrama <laughs> the emotions where it is it is it is <laughs> it's not here it's, say, not okay, it's the best show to be okay Mr. Melodrama. He's been like complaining and like well, that's because you, me. You know like, that, oh, that's because you, you went and emotional TV shows. No, and no. That's because like, you went a and freaking shit and then you, on you and <laughs> shit on B stars for no goddamn reason. I, I Saying it's only you. about furries and yeah. It's only about furries and it's CG, blue, blue, blue. Yeah, it's a furry love story, okay? <laughs> That's what these stars is. <laughs> it has so much more elements to it. Yeah, but I was, I was disputing, like, because I was thinking, oh, I don't watch any emotional TV shows. I'm emotional. I cry when I see a freaking baby on Instagram. But, uh, you're emotional. That doesn't mean what you're watching is emotional. Yeah, but I don't plus B Stars isn't even emotional. Emo I don't need to watch emotional TV shows. B Stars ain't even emotional, man. 
Okay, that's not good at all. But what, it's just animals? <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> I love this so much. You have no idea. <laughs> Uh, my moving family move movie on. stars and then I just go there and then you just flip out move that's on. why I'm never gonna watch it move on what? move on Boy, how long has it been? 1 hour and 10 it's not that early if you like <laughs> yeah I feel like what? Oh, anyways so. I'm excited for Konosuba anime project so yeah, best anime of time. Ah, uh, sure. One Piece better. Mm. One Piece has been so good, you know, you can't even lie. Just Wano, even though it has like still inconsistencies with their animation, but still, when it does animation now, it's like... <laughs> That's just because you watched that last episode. I don't know what they did. They just... <laughs> oh wait, not the last episode, the last, last episode. I didn't watch they just. Episode. No, I didn't watch the last one either, but I made the last, last one. Yeah, that was... I they just upped the... Pre- I don't know, like... I, and nothing even really... There was no, not really any fights, I guess. I guess they were like, I don't know, starting to get serious. I don't know. But... And the production just shot out. I was like, what the hell is this movie production all of a sudden? Last episode, we got a freaking... It could have been a movie. That's what it was. It was like straight out of a movie. <laughs> I was like, what? what? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, right, you know, I appreciate the Sakuga. Boo. Better what? than Kono Suba. As comedy and emotional. Listen, saying Kono Suba's animation complements the comedy so goddamn well. Well. One Piece's animation is just so good, you want to so, want more. No, okay, but, it's good, but I don't think it's... I feel like Konosuba's animation just complements the comedy so well. You you know, you know, you've seen it, you've seen it. It's like, sometimes they look really stupid and it's just really it's funny. funny. It's goddamn funny. It's not... That funny. I'm Listen, I I just I just really like shows where characters just banter with each other. You know what's a funny show, Gata? My funny show is Gintama. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's okay. laughs> you don't think I refute that. <laughs> no, because you agree, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, but you were hoping that I was gonna refute that. <laughs> yeah, no. Gintama is funny. Yeah, good. That's it. Move on. Alright, but I didn't, I didn't even watch that much of it. I watched like five, six episodes, but from what I can tell, it was pretty funny, so. Still, yeah. source so confusing, complicated. I don't think the story really matters. I, I feel like. I don't think there is a story. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like it's just calling it through and through. You don't really care, have to care about the story. And whatnot. And yeah, that's basically it, I guess. Uh, shall we wrap things up? If we're gonna wrap things up, I'm going to reveal my nose. <laughs> okay. But first, what did we learn today? Oh my god. God, we didn't learn shit. shit. Government is bad. COVID is bad. Um, Everything is bad. <laughs> um, uh, uh, protests. Uh, protests is good, but make sure you're not doing anything bad. <laughs> and make sure that that guy is doing bad before you do something bad to him. <laughs> yeah. And. What the frick? That's it. <laughs> Flame throwing. Uh, kids are pyromaniacs. Flame throwing is bad. Smoking is bad. Konosuba is bad. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. No, it's not bad. And yeah, there we go. Okay, you want to see what else? Oh my god, look at it. It's not even that bad. It's like. It's not even that bad. Uh, it's a star! 
<sighs> but yeah, that's it. Mm. Well, right anyways, this has been this episode of the broadcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, links will be in the description below. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Hail. Hey,